Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of how to create an account. Um, we just completed the quest to let them eat pie. After that you're just going to want to run southeast over this bridge and talk to the Slayer Master. She's going to um, have you buy a Slayer um, gem from the Slayer Master. And once you buy the Slayer gem, you can also buy some spike gauntlets and she's going to give you a first Slayer task. In the game, Slayer is more of a, it's a, with all the monsters in the game, Slayer is where you talk to your Slayer Master and they assign you to go kill one monster. So once you, you want to go to the Slayer Master, they're going to assign you your monster. Next you're going to run south into the cave and talk to Ariana, I believe. She appears a lot in the quest, in at least five or six quests in the game. So, that's, I mean... She's just a, one of those characters, like the one at the beginning, Ozan, he appears a lot. They're just generic characters that are in a lot of quests. And when RuneScape, I guess, came out with this troll attack game, they put these people in, and since then they've released quests, and Ariane and um, Ozan have appeared in those quests following. So you're going to run up uh, to the back and destroy the uh, monster, or attack him. Once again, you're using your ability bars, such as 1, 2, and 3 on your keyboard, or whatever you set it to, and that'll allow you to do something. So she just teleported away. Now you're going to learn about prayers. So all these different prayers are different things. Probably your three most useful are protect from magic, protect from range, and protect from melee. With a recent EOC update, they made it so you um, still take damage when you use them, just not like before. You used to not take any damage at all. So basically, what it is is if you were being attacked by someone using like range, such as they were bow and arrow shooting at you, you wouldn't take any damage. It would just like block. And this would be useful when fighting like monsters for quests because it was a pure range monster. You just have to worry about attacking it, and you could just continue doing that. Um, as for this uh, mini game, I'm continue talking, but you're just gonna have to kill five of these monsters using your ability bar. Don't worry, they shouldn't do enough damage for you to need to eat food. Um, as you see, it's only taking off a little bit as I go along. So just continue using your ability bar, and you should be good. So as I was slaying with Slayer, it's it's a very interesting task. You go and kill all the monsters, and once you're finished, you get Slayer XP. Definitely with all the releases, the new bosses, such as the Calphite King, when you say you get assigned to kill Calphites, when you kill the Calphite King, you actually get a lot of XP as a reward for killing it. Meanwhile, if you were just to kill basic Calphites, it's not as much XP, so you gotta work on that. And generically, if you're going for 99 Slayer, you're gonna get 99 Attack, Defense, and all the other um, skills along with it while you're trying to get that, all the other combat skills. Which is pretty good, um, especially with that. So once you're done, run up and talk to Magstick. He's in the spot with the summoning option and the quest icon. Go through all the options, buy some spirit shards, a pouch, some charms. I was actually here for the creation of summoning too. So um, summoning is basically where you can summon your own monsters that help you out. This will come in handy because some of them can actually store items for you, where in your inventory you can only keep eight, uh, no, 28 items, while if you have a like a spirit icon or a summon pet, you can use that to um, store items with for you too. So you're going to run north and you'll see this burning house. Jump across the flaming pit and talk to Nora. In order to talk to her, you need to remove all items before you can pick her up. You're going to throw over your shoulder, cross this flaming pit, run over to the other side, and then all of the druids will put out the fire. Thank you so much for rescuing me. I believe your axe gets updated. Let's see. Yep, your dwarven army axe got updated again. Now you're going to want to run south back into the pickup sticks area renew your points and now you're gonna wanna run north talk to Olga her poor daughter has fallen in the river so speed through some things um, she's gonna give you a rope you're gonna wanna wait for a tree to appear so chop down the tree oh that oak is fond around the locals Basically, when a new tree respawns, cut it down.
make and make a bow. Cut down another tree. Now, uh, cutting down trees takes a little while at your low level. Um, this is also one of those tasks where, or like one of the skills where you can get a better axe as you go along. So, previous to all the other things, you can, um, uh, I don't know. I actually had to make a bow here. I wonder if it thinks, like, you, there's no blinking arrows at this part, as you can see. I think that's because earlier you were able to buy the charge bow, and that's where it's expecting you got the bow from. So, if you run back, saying you already have a bow, cut down the tree. So, uh, I kind of messed up a little bit here, but basically fletch yourself some, the, uh, some bowstrings. And actually, if you run north, you can trade and buy some 15 bronze arrowheads and 15 feathers. Craft your logs with a knife into arrow shafts. Use your arrow shafts with your bolt tips and the feathers to make uh, some arrows. Then use your rope with it and use your rope on the rock and you will go to save her. Now here's the funny thing is she can do this but she can't swim. Ready? Boom. She's She just shimmies across that rope like no problem but she can't swim. So you saved her and she's good. When you make, um, just as a quick tip, when making arrow shafts, if you're planning on training range, arrow shafts are really good until a certain level. I think it's like 15 is about what you want to do arrow shafts until. And that's when you, so don't make bows or anything like that. Just make the arrow shafts. Don't even bother turning them to arrows. It's not even worth it. So let's see. Light the logs. Use a pair of logs on the logs. And that was a task. So you just completed that task. And now it is time for the Hands of Guthix. So run a little bit north to where the herb shop is. Talk to him. You're going to buy to buy a um, Grammy Guam. Clean the Grammy Guam. Use it on the, the vial of water. Next, mix the ingredients together to create an attack potion. That's going to wrap up part 3 of how to create an account. After this is the Druidic Ritual Quest, which you can follow at the end of the video. Thank you for watching. My name is Brian, and have a nice day.